Destiny and in this video I'll be sharing with you all how I got these curls on my short relaxed hair. When you search short hair on YouTube, you get much shorter hair than this. To me, this is short hair for me. Anywho, yeah, let's get to curling some hair. So I'm starting off with about a week old hair and I'm just going to start off by combing out my hair really quickly. I'm going to be using soft foam rollers for this look as well as pink glosser, super grow hair grease and a lot of body setting lotion which you'll see later on in the video. I will list all of the products in the information bar for you all that way you can easily access them if you're interested. So I was originally going to use a comb but since parting does not matter for this look since we're doing all over curls I'm just going to use my fingers instead. Going to separate my hair and begin to spray some pink glosser and then I'm just going to roll up my hair just starting in the front section. I like my hair going forward towards my face in the front and then as far as the other sections of hair, you can either roll them going back, you can roll them kind of diagonally to the side. The other sections don't really matter. The positioning won't matter as long as you have enough hair on each roller and not too much hair to where you won't really get a defined curl if that's the look that you're going for. So I pretty much proceed this process all over. The pack that I have does contain 26 rollers, but since I'm not using the smallest size, which is that pink roller that you'll see later on in the video, I probably used, I think I used all of the purple ones and maybe all except two of the blue ones. I'll insert um, the number if you all are interested because I actually don't remember how many I used. But the purpose here is to just use a kind of medium section and just roll your hair throughout. Originally, I wasn't going to use Lotta Body since my hair was already dry, but I'm going to add a pump of Lotta Body to each section just because of the weather and I want to make sure my curls hold. So, definitely use whatever kind of setting lotion and products that you like. I chose to use Lotta Body because it gives you a lot of body. <laughs> so yeah, I went ahead and added a pump to each roller section that I'm going to have. And then I went back in off camera and added it to those front sections that I had previously rolled prior to adding the Lotta Body. And you don't have to use too much to where your hair gets damp because you want to make sure that it is enough to allow your hair time to dry overnight. But you want enough on the hair to make sure that it gives you a hold, which will be kind of flexible. That's why I like Lotta Body because it does hold the hair, but it's not too crunchy. It still gives you a soft curl. And I also went back in with my Pillow Soft Setting Rollers. I kind of just mixed in between all of the different ones just to show you all the variety of the curls. So it's the next morning and now I'm going to go ahead and remove my rollers. I did sleep in these overnight. They're easy to sleep on just because they're foam so they're really soft and just comfortable. So it's not like a flexi rod where you can't really enjoy sleeping on them. I did get about 4 or 5 hours of sleep so if you do get more hours of sleep nightly than I do then your hair will be dry as mine was. To avoid disturbing the curl, I kind of remove my roller in like a cranky kind of spiraling motion. If you do kind of unwind your curl directly, then just kind of twist your hair back to get it in that curl shape, which you'll see me do for some of the curls. I did not put anything on my hands or spray any extra product into my hair just because I had already plowed enough the night before. And like I said, this is week old hair, so all of the products from my last hairstyle is still in my hair in this hairstyle. So after you remove all of your rollers, the next step is to separate your hair to your desired fullness. Um, for me, each curl becomes about 10 curls, but don't quote me on that. I just separate until I feel like I have my maximum separationness. okay? <laughs> Separations. So yeah, I separate as many times or as few times as I would like. Since it's not really a defined look like a flexi rod set. Now if it was a flexi rod set, I would probably separate them only a few times and then continue to separate as the week progressed. But this is kind of a night to night hairstyle, meaning I would touch it up each night. So I'm just going to go in and separate my hair. So just be sure to not overlook a section because you don't want to have one unseparated curl and then the rest is just like, oh, okay, like, <laughs> make sure you separate everything. So now it's time to fluff, fluff, fluff. The bigger the hair, it makes them stare. So you want to use a pick, a wide tooth comb, whatever you use to fluff your hair, you can actually use your fingers, but I find that using the pick really helps me to fluff my hair and make it really voluminous and just like, oh, yes, look at the hair. So yes, use a pick. To fluff your hair and you'll see the difference between that left side and the right side which hasn't been fluffed just yet so you continue to do that and this also helps to hide the parts within the hair so that it all just blends so seamlessly and just girl look at that 
yes so now in the front I'm kind of pulling my hair back and then I take my finger to kind of pull it forward this part is really up to you as far as how you style your hair we're all individuals so we all style our hair differently and of course your hairstyle is not complete if your edges are not on fleek so be sure to definitely lay your edges because it just makes the hairstyle look so much more neater and well put together I have a video showing you all how I lay and slay my edges. If you're interested, check the card above as well as the information bar below. This is how I'm going to wear my hair. If you all try this hairstyle out, be sure to tweet pictures or tag me on Instagram. I would love to see how you all style your hair with your quick and overnight heatless curls. That's pretty much how I curl my hair. The results is different every time. Normally it's much smoother, but I have a lot of new growth now. This is like a heat free style since I didn't use any heat, which moisturizer and everything was already in my hair just from the week prior i know a lot of people were like don't use foam rollers like these simply for the fact of it being foam i guess definitely don't use these if you don't want to if you have something else that you prefer they do have the soft satin pillow rollers like these that you can purchase i do have a few of these since my hair is heavily moisturized because i kind of overdo it in the winter time just because it's the winter time you know so i don't want kind of the environment to snatch all of my moisture out of my hair anyway all of that is kind of beside the point this was just me showing you all how to get heat free curls quickly and overnight on your short hair if you just need a quick style and you can definitely style this the way that you like mohawk you can pull the left back pull the right back kind of push it all up into a curly ponytail you can definitely use flexi rods as well i have used these on dry hair but when i use these it's mostly to hold like feathers in my wrap i'll link all of those kinds of videos so that you all can see what those results are when you use different types of rollers when i'm sitting in my bed rolling my hair at night i will put in papers on top of this and roll it up that way since i have moisturizer in my hair and i haven't used these in a long time i felt it fine just for one night so yeah i'm actually just now filming my intro since i got back from my test i keep bumping the tree trying to sit by the tree because it's all festive and like holiday ish you know just actually got back from taking my last final so i was like let me do like an actual talk through you know i hope y'all enjoyed this video be sure to leave all of your questions and comments down below okay, so back to what i was saying if i'm more lazy about using the rollers then i probably will pin curl my hair if you want to see me using soft rollers to pin curl and these curls and then see if it's some different kind of results then let me know down below i will film that if you all want me to or leave all of your requests down below because like i said i have my last final today we're just gonna drop hair tutorials girl like Tutorial, tutorial, tutorial. <laughs> Make sure you turn your notifications on so that you don't miss out. Be sure to leave all of your questions and comments down below. I'll talk to y'all in my next video. I appreciate you all so much for watching. That's just how I'm living. Money and pretty women. Hundreds and fifties. That's all I'm getting. That's just how I'm living. Money.